Good morning. Today I'm going to show you a great resource on the web that you can use to teach your kids mathematics in the classroom and it's also a tool they can use at home. I'm going to focus on standard one. For first grade, uh, this states that students will acquire number sense and perform simple operations with whole numbers. And down here at objective two, I want kids to be able to identify those simple relationships among whole numbers up to 100. To address this, I'm going to use this website. You can see it up here, um, but it's called the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. So we're going to go to numbers and operations uh, for pre-K to grade 2. So of course I want to find something that can help me with my standard. We're going to use a tool called the hundreds chart. Alright, so on here I always like to look at the tabs up here and, and always click the instructions. So you can just refer back to something as you're teaching. And also they can refer to this as they're learning. So the first mode is called the practice mode. Here you can start at any number. You can go up to 9. That's as high as it'll let you go. And uh, let's go back down to 2. And you can count by any number. So let's start something pretty basic. So let's count by 2 and start at 2. So of course they can count in sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4. And if they click it, um, look like the wrong number, it's going to turn red. And they can easily fix it by clicking the right number. And if it's right, it'll be blue. So here they can count in sequence, or they can use um, addition to show that they know how to understand these patterns. So 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, and so on. Let's start to count by, let's say, 5s, and let's start at 5. So here they can see that, of course, it'll be 0, then 5, then 10, then 15, then 20. As you see this pattern unfolding, they can identify or even predict what the picture would look like in the end. The next mode is the show mode. This mode um, shows that all the numbers are highlighted and um, you can change the sequence and it'll change the picture. This just helps them see that there is a pattern for any counting sequence um, and this can also help them with their multiplication skills. The last mode is animate. I like this because it actually animates it according to what you choose. So I can stop it of course and I can Let's say we go by threes. Let's count by three and let's start at three to help them with their math. Let's press start to start it again. And kids can see the pattern being animated. And this just helps them understand that there um, in mathematics there are patterns in most things. You can go all the way to a hundred. And once you click stop, you can show that the kids that um, 1 times 3 is 3, and then 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and so forth. In my classroom, I plan to use all these modes, uh, first of all, with a large projector screen, and they can help me um, pick the right answer, and then I can show them the patterns and then have it animated for them. After I show them these things, I'm going to have them go to their own computers and work in small groups to practice um, what they've learned, and then... Um, correct the wrong answers that they get. See, like if they click 5, they can easily click 6. The next thing you want to do is actually have them use a tangible chart. So you can find um, a chart anywhere like this, a 100 chart online, and here you can print it off. The kids can fill in um, patterns with markers or crayons or colored pencils, and they can use this at home too as homework. And that just shows that they can um, after they've compared and contrasted with their groups, um, in small groups, they can take this home and do independent work. And you can also help them with this as needed. So those are just some great tools that you can use, um, of course. And just remember to use this chart when you're teaching how, kids how to count up to 100 and identify counting sequence and patterns. All right, thanks. See ya.